Welcome to Nature Health Benefits Live. In this set of three videos, we're exploring why being out in nature is good for your physical, mental, and emotional health. Today we have two experts here to help us learn about nature and physical benefits. Christy Haas Howard is from the National Environmental Education Foundation, or NEF for short, and Barbara Rolnick is a pediatrician from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, or CHOP for short. We're so excited to share their expertise with you. And they're joined today with our host from the USDA Forest Service, Farah Masumi. First up, let's talk a little bit about why the outdoors can benefit your overall health. Did anyone ever tell you to eat your greens because they're good for you? It turns out that it's also true about green spaces. Green spaces are areas outdoors that people can use for a variety of purposes. Green spaces include parks, playgrounds, gardens, wooded areas, and grassy fields. Spending time in green spaces can benefit your physical health. There are so many physical benefits to spending time outdoors in nature. One is that people tend to move more and be more physically active when we're outside as opposed to spending time indoors. Experts have reported that children living less than a mile from a park with a playground might be five times more likely to have a healthier lifestyle. And one thing that really helps our health is being able to breathe clean air. The trees really create the pure oxygen and help to purify the air. Also, people tend to sleep better when we're outside regularly. So daily exposure to natural light helps regulate our sleep. Another thing is that it increases our vitamin D absorption from sunlight, which is important for our bones and our blood cells and our immune system to keep us healthy. Spending time outside also might help our eyesight. We have found that spending too much time on screens affects your vision and makes you more likely to need glasses. And spending time outside in natural light helps to prevent that. And if you're interested in spending time outside to improve your health, there are many programs that can help you with that. I've been working as a pediatrician for almost 34 years and a little bit more than 10 years. I've been involved in programs where you prescribe nature to families and patients in a way to help them to feel better and become more healthy. I did another project that was called Nature PHL, where we mapped out all the different green spaces in the city of Philadelphia. So my current project is called Prescribe Outside, and we have created fun, free family activities in parks close to our patients. Prescribe Outside is a coalition of many different groups Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the USDA Forest Service and a group called Let's Go Outdoors, which is a group that provides a lot of our programming. And Christie's program also increases outdoor interest and its connection to health. The National Environmental Education Foundation. We do work in conservation and K-12 environmental education and health. We work together a lot to help organizations and students understand more about the environment and spend time connecting to the environment. But you don't just have to rely on these programs. You can do many different things to connect with nature on your own or with friends and family. I think there are so many things that young people and everyone can do to connect with nature and experience those benefits. It doesn't have to be driving for several hours to get to mountains or the plains or lakes or ocean. You can spend time with your friends or loved ones in a green space in your area, a park or a school playground or greenway. You can plant a tree or grow food in your yard or your patio space, or there's lots of community gardens. Also, joining an environmental club or outdoor club at your school or local rec center or community organization, being around other people that have similar passions. Having a picnic with your friends or loved ones, going for a walk with a friend, walking your dog to a local green space, go bird watching in your neighborhood or a nearby park. There are a lot of fun apps that can help you identify bird calls. Also, you could grab a book or journal and find a shady tree to sit under or bike around your neighborhood. There are so many ways to access nature spaces and gain those physical health benefits. It's really that simple. There are so many ways that nature can benefit our physical health, but our physical and mental health are actually interconnected and affect one another. There is a direct connection between your physical and your mental health. 
For instance, if you are stressed out, that increases chemicals in your body that increase your blood pressure and increase the chance of having trouble with your heart and trouble with inflammation. People that have asthma, if they're under a lot of stress, their asthma is worse. People who have diabetes or have pre-diabetes and have trouble maintaining a good sugar level in their blood, that gets worse when you have stress. So stress directly affects your physical health. And spending time outside in nature directly lowers your stress. That has been proven. There is this chemical called cortisol, which is a measure of the level of stress that you're under. So when you're under a lot of stress, your cortisol level goes up. And people that regularly spend time in nature have lower cortisol levels. So we know that spending time outside lowers the stress. And if you have less stress, you're physically much more healthy. So being mentally healthy can help you be physically healthy. But the reverse is also true. Being physically healthy can help you be mentally healthy. There's a direct connection with being physically active and your mental health. If you exercise three times a week, you are much less likely to be depressed and much less likely to need a medication for depression. So for people who are feeling a little bit depressed and not severely depressed, the best thing they could possibly do is to go outside and be active outside. Exercising is always good for you, but where you exercise might also make a difference. They've actually studied the difference between exercising indoors, like on a treadmill, versus outside. They did a very interesting study where they had two different groups. One of them did a treadmill, but looked at pictures of nature on their screen at the treadmills. And the other group did the same exact run, but actually did it outside in nature. And the people that did it in the real thing, not a screen that looked like nature, were much less depressed and less stressed and less anxious. So both groups improved, but the group that did it outside in nature did better than the group that did it inside on a treadmill. And you can take advantage of that information. Here's our challenge this week for you. Find 15 minutes this week to go outside and be active. For example, take a bike ride, throw a frisbee, or walk. If you can't get outside this week, find 15 minutes to be active where you can see outside. When you're done, note how you feel overall. For more detailed information about these challenges, visit the Natural Inquirer website. So what other ways does nature help our mental health? That's what we're going to find out in our next video. That's right, more Nature Health Benefits live episodes are on their way. In one week, we'll discover ways that nature can improve our mental health. In two weeks, we'll follow a research study about greening vacant lots and its possible impact on mental health. And in three weeks, join us for a live question and answer program where our experts will answer your questions live. Leave a question in the comments section of this video and we'll try to answer it during the stream. If you think of a question later, you can also write it in the comments section of the stream while we're live. All of our videos and streams will be available on the Natural Enquirer YouTube channel. Nature Health Benefits Live is brought to you by a partnership with the Natural Enquirer and the USDA Forest Service. The Forest Service manages about 193 million acres of national forests and grasslands throughout the United States. We also work in partnership with tribal and state governments and private landowners to benefit another 600 million acres, not to mention our work internationally. Meanwhile, the Natural Enquirer is a program that takes scientific research papers and rewrites them in easy to understand language for students at many different grade levels. All of their materials are free to order or download on their website. Speaking of which, their site also has some recommendations for activities you can do outdoors and indoors to connect with nature. So after you finish this video, you might as well keep exploring these other amazing resources. In the meantime, get outside and stay healthy.